Hi everybody, it's Jenny K. Parks at ACQ, Ask Jenny K. Today I have with me Jill Fleming. Jill Fleming is a professional organizer. Yes, she is. And I have to say, when you started talking, I felt like, and I think I said this to Jackie sitting next to me, it's like she has a window into my soul. <laughs> she knows exactly what quilters are doing and thinking and where we're stashing stuff and inaccessible things in the garage, behind the Christmas tree that we need and yeah. all those all things. All the little hidden nooks and crannies that you can find. Yes. 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 So tell me a little bit about what you do so people will know. So you come to the house and you... Yes. So I come to your home and I do an in-home consultation. So that's your time with me to tell me, you know, what's working in the space? What's not working in the space? What's frustrating you? Mm -hmm. It's getting to know each other to make sure that we're going to be a good fit. Because oh, yeah. organizing with someone is a very personal experience. I mean, I'm in your stuff. I see all your stuff. Oh. And it's all confidential. Okay. It's all confidential. Okay. Um, but then we work out a plan to start helping you create the spaces that will work for you. Whether it's a closet, or your kitchen, or your quilting studio, or the garage, or the basement. Um, the principles of organizing really don't change. It's mm -hmm. about... It's about making things accessible, easy to find, easy to use, and easy to put away. Really, it's finding a place for everything so everything has a place. Yes. And it's not about perfection. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. Every client is different. I always say perfect lives in a different town than me. <laughs> we are not in the same, we're not even related. <laughs> it's, perfection is too hard. And if yes. you're worried about being perfect, you're never going to start. Yes. It's better to start something and do it imperfectly than never start it at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, good point. That's a famous quote. I'm trying to remember who. It's it's on Wednesdays on my Facebook who page. I do I do words of wisdom, and that's one of them. It's better okay. to start and do something imperfectly than never start at all. Never start at all. Uh -huh. And I love what you said about sorting and 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 freeing yourself from guilt. You, you said something like your grandmother wouldn't want you to feel guilty about this getting rid of this piece of fabric. And I thought, you don't know my grandma. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's the same actually when you receive gifts, like whether it's a wedding gift or a birthday yes. gift. Yes. Um, once someone gives you something, mm -hmm. your obligation to that object ends when you give your heartfelt thanks to the person who gave it to you. Ooh. No one really wants you to hold on to something that stresses you out. Plus, I will tell you from experience, because we're all fairly self-involved. Yes. If, if I give you something and it was like a painting or, or a necklace and I see you wearing it or I see it in your home because I'm visiting, uh -huh. I'll be like, oh, I remember giving it. She loves that. She's, she's displaying that. Yeah. But if I gave it to you and I never see it, I'm going to forget I gave it to you. Uh, so people really don't pay attention to the gifts right. that they give. So if you hate it, let it go. Someone else will love it. We give it to somebody else. Yes. Exactly. And I like to say, I think my saying, or well, my theme lately has been, leave quilts, not fabric. Yes. You want to use what you have. Exactly. And leave quilts to people, not little scraps of fabric. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much. You were just, just wonderful. I would, yeah. Thank you for you. having and me. I also loved what you said about that it's a no judgment zone. Yes. Right? Because we judge ourselves for having all this and then having it get all cluttered and then having to get rid of it all. And it's all, it's all so judgy. <laughs> well, and you know what? A lot of people are afraid. It's a really hard call to make when you finally are like, I can't do this by myself. I need help. So yes. knowing that the person that you're talking to and that's going to help you is never judging you, I know that you have invited me into your home to help you. And that is an honor and a privilege. And I love what I do. I have a passion for what I do. Mm -hmm. To me, you know, what you might think is your disaster area basement, I'm like, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> and we'll crazy. have fun doing it together. <laughs> and we do it together. Wonderful. It's perfectly suited for you. This is great. Thank you so much for coming. We are honored to have you here. Thank and you, you guys, for having me. Check out her stuff. Check out Facebook, your website. And if you had a book, I would snap that book up, my friend. And snap <laughs> the motivational tapes. I would take those too. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. Oh, there you go. There you go. Motivational MP3s. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, everybody. Pleasure. See you next time. <laughs>